Hey there, it's Rachel Mullins, the host of Hashtag No Filter Fridays on Public House Media. What's up, guys? Welcome to Your Life Matters Podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Maria White, and I am a passionate pediatric nurse practitioner and fired up health and happiness coach here to deliver a message to you. This podcast is meant to provide a hope and a dream that fuels your soul to dream big and to dream bold and to inspire and empower you to live out your wildest freaking dreams and to grow Grab a hold onto the unwavering truth that you were made for more. What's up, guys? Happy Tuesday. I am so excited you're here, and I am just so over the moon excited and humbled that we are on the verge of celebrating our two year anniversary. It was August 7th, 2018 that our podcast launched and became live. And that is when the Your Life Matters tribe, squad, community was birthed off of me making the decision to just start speaking from my heart. And it's crazy to think back on two years ago, completely who I was was completely different. I didn't have my daughter. I wasn't a mom. And I was actually sitting down to write a book and uh Bianca's dad at the time was sitting there like okay like write down a book blah 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 and like was like motivating me and empowering me and then I was like dude I have dyslexia I cannot focus I don't want to do this and I remember him sitting there being like just start a podcast and I didn't even think like two and two together I was just like really? Like what? And I remember I had reached out to this amazing company, Public House Media, and they were like, yeah, let's do it. And from then on, we just kind of went. And it just excites me to think back now over the past two years, every single Tuesday, I've been sharing a part of my heart a lesson, a mind frame, a tactical tactical and tangible tip for you to increase your life and give value, but above all, to know this very simple message that your life matters, that you are wanted, needed, worthy, loved, and more than enough. So, Today, as we are getting ready, and I can't wait for you guys to hear what is going to be in the mix next Tuesday as we celebrate an anniversary, but until then, I'm excited to dive in with you today. Now, first and foremost, I have to say, guys, I need you to leave a rating and a review. I just recently started talking about this and, you know, in iTunes land and Spotify land, that's all that matters is ratings, reviews, and all this stuff, but really it helps me as the person giving the content to know what is attracting you, what's vibing with you, what is helpful, what is not helpful, what you need more of. And that is my way of saying, hey, tell me what you need. Because this platform really truly is to serve you every single week, to give you something every single week. So just tell me what it is that you need. Reach out to me on Instagram at Dr. Fit White. Come check out my website at borntoshinewellness.com. You know everything about me pretty much. Make sure that you're subscribing to 31995 so that you get my text messages, all the good things. But really, I just want to know what it is that you need so I can better help you because that is my passion and my purpose to help you live your best life. So today on the topic of living your best life, I wanted to touch on your dreams And a lot of people are figuring out their new normal, adjusting, getting ready to go back to school. I know we have a kindergartner that is trying to figure out and navigate schooling and we're, you know, figuring that out for her. 
And a lot of parents are going through the same thing. A lot of people are going through the same thing. Um, People who have reached out to me talking about, you know, unemployment, things have ended with the COVID pandemic uh, assistance and what they need to do next and how they go further and how they're kind of rebuilding and trying to re-enter into the workforce. But yet we're still in the midst of a global health crisis with COVID-19. And all of these things are happening, right? People are getting affected, lives are being lost, and people are just trying to navigate their new life. And in the midst of all of that, a lot of people can just chuck it up and say, well, 2020 is a wash. Well, guys, it's not a wash because it's only August. There is 12 months in the year, not eight. And we still have a lot of time and two quarters in order to finish this year strong. So what I'm saying is the moment that you thought that this was the year 2020, you wrote down your goals, you have it on a piece of paper, you might even got super fancy and created a vision board and a graphic and a Canva and blah, 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 all this stuff. And then March came around and COVID came around and everything got shot. But If you've been listening to me the last couple of weeks, I hope that you've gathered yourself to know that your dreams aren't over, that the year isn't over, your life isn't over, and you are blessed to listen to this. You are blessed and should be grateful that you are not being directly impacted. And if you have been impacted, know that you can get through this, know that you will continue to move forward. And I'm so sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry that everything is so heavy right now, but I want you to know that that in this space, you are welcome, you are wanted, you are needed, and we are going to help get you through as a community. So right now, I'm saying to you, your dreams matter, and you have to keep going towards your dreams. You have to say, okay, Mariah, Dr. Mariah, whatever you call me, Dr. White, I am going to move forward from here on out. I am going to move forward from here on out. I am no longer going to sit back and wait. It is August 4th of 2020, and I'm deciding that right now I can still make my vision for 2020 possible. I can still make my vision for 2020 exist. And this is how I'm going to help you. Because if you can harness and grasp and understand that three main things are the reason why you aren't achieving your goals, any goal that you put in front of you will happen. Because if you choose to understand that you're going to be afraid and make fear your homeboy is which a book that I have shared with my community. Uh, Judith Holler is an amazing author of that. And if you make fear your homeboy, you'll understand that fear is inevitable, but it'll also bring opportunities of growth and leveling up and striving for greatness because that's what you are destined to have in this life. You are sh- destined to be great. And like Trent Shelton says, you need to make the world respect your greatness. So all of that to say, I want you to understand that if you eliminate these three things, you will forever be successful, not just in the rest of 2020, but for your life. The biggest thing, number one, that everything gets derailed with is distraction. You get distracted. And that's what I want to say, not in a, like a insensitive way, but that's what 2020 has been. We've We've been, excuse me, distracted by COVID. We've been distracted by systemic racism. We've been distracted by child trafficking. We've been distracted by, and I'm not saying these are distractions. Hear me say this. These are not distractions. These are massive things that need to be taken care of. However, you could do your part with COVID. You could do your part with racism. You can do your part and become an ally. You could do your part with child trafficking and human trafficking and bringing awareness, but do they need to distract you to where you then sit in your bed and say, woe is me, life is over, I can't go on and I'm not going to achieve my dreams? No, because this has been going on for centuries. Obviously not COVID, but multiple pandemics have happened and this is going on for a while. But you don't have to stop dead in your tracks based on distraction that you can't control all by yourself. And that's why I'm going to say control the controllables and release the rest. Bless and release. Stop allowing basic distractions wear you down. 
Stop allowing outside noise to wear you down. Stop allowing one negative comment, a troll message, or somebody saying that they don't like what you're doing or posting in a bathing suit or whatever the case is to distract you from the ultimate goal. If your mission in life is to be the best version of you, to be the best mom, spouse, partner, friend, sister, brother, daughter, Your only mission should be to achieve those things. And then if you have a dream that is bigger than most people's dreams, because that's what dreams are, and you have told a couple of people and they said, you're absolutely crazy. Great. Wonderful. Think that I'm crazy because the most crazy, most insane, crazy people have achieved the greatest things. Einstein, Thomas Jefferson, Martin Luther King. He was insane, right? Insane to attack systemic racism the way that he did head on but it forever changed the course of history and we're still doing that george floyd completely changed history did he want to die that day absolutely not but based on one person recording one situation everything unfolded so guys there's a lot of things that can happen right but if you stand strong in your dream and eliminate the distraction of everything else happening I promise you you'll continue to be successful you'll continue to find success and you're going to continue to thrive the second thing that will derail you or distract you from your dream and keep you from achieving it is doubt when someone is lacking faith or lacking the ability to be resourceful, or lacking the ability to believe that they can figure things out. When you doubt your ability to just get it done, when you doubt your strengths and who God has created you to be and who the universe is trying to create you and mold you into becoming, Have you ever like, yeah, it's partly like weirdness between Siri and Google and figuring things out, but like you'll look up something and then all of a sudden the next couple of days, they'll just keep popping up. And I'm not just talking about in your phone. I'm talking about you'll see it in the store when you've never seen it before in the store or you can't get something out of your head or hey, like you've been looking at a car and I know when I was going to shop for my Jeep Grand Cherokee, that's all I freaking saw. It was all I saw and it was like, okay, okay, I got it. Universe, thank you. I got it. I'll go get it. Thank you. I could have seen any other car, but that one kept replaying in my head. And why do I even reference that or bring it up? It's because for some reason, we lack the ability or lack the faith to know that God and the universe has our back that we are destined for greatness and that somehow some way we'd like to make the world all about us and say I am one person I can't make a difference well you can clearly I've rattled off multiple people who made a difference in the world but I want you to also understand that when you choose to lack self-belief and self-worth you are diminishing your goals and your dreams what if your dream cured cancer what if your dream ended systemic racism ended human or child trafficking ended COVID-19 what if you sitting on your dream could impact the world that way you'd be a hero okay now what if you could save one person's life you're their hero what if you could be a better mom What if you could be a better spouse? What if you could be a better human that enables and empowers other humans to just feel like they can achieve greatness within their own life? That's lives you're impacting. So stop doubting and making this about you in sense of I'm not good enough or what do I have to say? Your story matters. Your life matters. That's the whole reason why you're listening to this podcast. You matter. Your story matters. And then the very last thing is most people are not committed to their commitment. If you say, this is my goal, this is my dream, this is what I want to achieve. And you overcome distraction, you don't let distractions get to you, you overcome self-doubt and you don't let the doubt of other people or the lack of faith, you know, deter you from getting it and making it possible. 
the last thing that can completely derail you from your dreams is staying committed to your commitments. Are you doing the things that are going to move the needle forward? I say stuff to my team all the time. I talk about needle movers. I talk about vital behaviors. Doing things that are going to make you better, that are going to move your business, that are going to move your dreams, that are going to move your family, that is going to move your income. What is going to make it happen? And be committed to those things. The same way that you're committed to your nine to five or your job or your kid, right? If your kid's screaming that they want food, you don't just say, oh, I don't know, figure it out. Obviously, if they're teenagers, it's a different story. But think about your baby. You know, you're not going to just be like, eh, figure it out. No, that is your commitment. You're going to make sure that they're clothed and fed and taken care of. The same way that you show up to work and your boss says that you have a project and that you procrastinate, procrastinate, and all of a sudden the day before it's due, you're staying up until two o'clock in the morning to get it done. Why is it that you're willing to do that for someone else's dream and your boss and not do it for yourself? Why are you willing to stay up until two o'clock in the morning to make sure that something's done and it doesn't even consist with what you need to personally get done for your dreams? Why are we so willing to give to everyone else, but then we're not willing to pour into ourselves and into our dreams because we never know what our dream could do for the world? I want you to hear that again. You never know what your dream could do for the world. You could save a life. You could save thousands of lives. You could help thousands of people. You could create something that we all need. And no one would ever know because you're so busy doubting and allowing distractions and not being committed to your commitments. So friends, I want you to analyze what we talked about today. I want you to look at your dreams that you set for 2020 and maybe they're a little different and maybe, you know, this quarantine and COVID has really brought perspective to what your dreams are and alignment with your family and your goals and your values now. And maybe you have to reevaluate the goals that you set and you have a different set of goals, but you should always have a goal and you should always have a dream because if you stopped dreaming, you aren't living. If you stopped believing that dreams could happen, you're not living. So right now I ask you, what dreams do you need to go for? What distractions do you need to eliminate? What doubt do you need to smash? And what commitments do you need to stay committed to in order to strive and continue to grow to not just survive this time, but to thrive during 2020? All right, guys, I'm so grateful that you've made it to the end of this episode. I'm so, so stinking happy. And this is the very last episode of what I would say is the second year into this podcast. I'm grateful for you. And we are entering into the third year. Next week, I have something very special for you. It's going to be a motivation mix montage of all of the Your Life Matters podcasts that you guys said were the top ones. And I'm so excited for you guys to hear it. I know I've been working really diligent on it. Our producers have been working very diligent on it. And I'm so grateful for you guys to hear it next week. But also just share this podcast with a friend. That's how the Your Life Matters podcast gets out. That's how it does well. And that's how we do exactly what the podcast name says. Save a life. Because at the end of the day, I, Dr. Mariah White, just want you to know that your life matters. What's up, guys? Thank you for tuning in to yet another episode of the Your Life Matters podcast. I'm so grateful that you're here. I just ask that you share this episode with somebody. I ask you to just share it and give it to somebody who could potentially need to hear this message. I really am on a mission to help hundreds of thousands of people to believe that their mess is their message and that their story really does matter. And that above all, their life matters. I'm so grateful that you're here. I want you to share this episode. And then on top of that, if you could please leave a rating or a review or both, 
Let me know what speaks to you. Let me know what you need to hear. Let me know what you've connected with because that's going to be the best way that I can make sure that I'm giving you guys exactly what you need. I love you guys with all my heart and so grateful for you. And I want you to know the difference and the impact you guys make in my life. I love seeing your messages. I love seeing when you guys private message me or screenshot it and share it on Instagram or Facebook because it lets me know that this podcast is doing exactly what it was meant to do. And it's to make sure that there's an impact being made and to help remind you and everyone else that you're 